Today, as I work my way through my holiday baking, I want to share a little bit of my mom. Now, many of you may not realize, but I lost my mom the week before Mother's Day, May 7th, 2023. My 89 and a half year old mom got to spend her first Mother's Day in heaven. My mom did not like chocolate. Nothing chocolate. Absolutely nothing chocolate. However, she loved chocolate covered cherries. Now, this is what I'm wondering. Did she love the chocolate covered cherries because she loved chocolate covered cherries? Or did she love chocolate covered cherries because I bought her, her a box of chocolate covered cherries when I was probably 13, 14 years old? I saved up, I don't know, two or three dollars, and all I could get my mom for Christmas was a box of chocolate covered cherries. Now, looking back, I'm wondering if I bought her the chocolate covered cherries because I thought she would like them, or because I really like them, and to this day, I still do like them. Regardless, after that, every year for Christmas, for I don't know how many years, I got my mom a box of chocolate covered cherries for Christmas. It was our thing. And she made sure, I'm talking, I was 40, 50 years old, got her a box of chocolate covered cherries and she made over them as if they were the most precious thing I could have gotten her. Maybe she shared the memory. Anyway, today we are making what I call mother's chocolate covered cherries. So I'm going to bend you down to the counter and let's get these cherries started. Alrighty. Now I do want to let you know that this is not a very quick project. I mean, you're not going to be working on it, you know, five minutes and it's done. This is going to take a little bit of time. It's easy, but it, it'll take a little time. So the first thing I have is a jar of maraschino cherries. And I actually opened two jars because I did some last night. And then it was like, okay, you know what? I need to be sharing this. So we're going to drain the cherries. Do not discard the liquid. You want that liquid. You want that juice. And we'll just let those drain for right now. And I have over here, off to my side, a parchment lined baking sheet. Now, to make the cream filling part of the chocolate covered cherry, you are going to want two cups of powdered sugar, okay, one cup, two cups, and to that you're going to add two tablespoons of butter and you want it at room temperature there's one there's two Okay, and then you want a half a teaspoon of cherry extract, and I don't have any cherry extract, so I'm just going to snag some of this juice. 
So we'll just get a half a teaspoon of the cherry juice. And then you are going to need a half a teaspoon of what's called invertes. And this is what is going to enable the um, cream filling to melt and become a traditional chocolate covered cherry. So a half a teaspoon of that. And then you need a half a teaspoon of corn syrup. And I just use Cairo syrup. And then you're just going to blend that together. You're going to add, let's see, one tablespoon of the cherry juice. This will also give it just that little bit of pink tinge. And you just want to keep blending it. It will eventually come together a little bit and it'll be a little crumbly, but it should still hold to itself. Okay. So give it a little test, kind of give it a little mixy mixy with your hand and do a test and this is still too dry and crumbly you can see it's almost chalky so take some more of that cherry juice just a little drizzle and I'm talking start with just a breath I mean not even maybe a sixteenth of a spoonful And depending on the humidity level in your workspace will depend on if you need to add more or maybe not quite as much of the cherry juice. It's still pretty chalky. You want to be able to form it into a ball and kind of press the ball out in order to wrap your cherry. So I'm going to add just another just a little breath more. And you'll know it's ready when the uh, color starts becoming more cohesive. It's getting there but still not really able to be molded around a cherry and it's very warm in my house today oh yeah that is perfect you can see it's holding a ball it's holding its shape that's exactly what you want. So just take it, warm it into a little bit of a ball. Oh, definitely. That is much better. Yeah, you want it almost like a pie dough, where it holds its shape. Okay. Perfect. Now comes the fun part. You're going to take those drained cherries you're going to pinch off just a little tiny bit of the cream dough, the cream filling 
just a tiny bit, about the size, about the size of a large marble. Maybe not even that much. So about the size of a marble. And I don't mean a shooter mar marble. And then you want to squish it out into a disc. Take a cherry, put it in the middle. Wrap that cherry up. Roll it all together. You want that cherry to be completely enclosed. Just like that. So another marble size ball. Smush it. Wrap up your cherry. Just like that. So I'm going to pause the video right here because you kind of need to work efficiently, quickly, but not be rushed. Otherwise, this cream cream filling is going to start melting on you and you're going to have problems. So I'm going to stop the video right here. I'm going to do the rest of the cherries and then I'll bring it back. So I do want to say your hands will get sticky. Just keep you a dry towel and wipe your hands off. Do not use anything wet. You do not want this dough to get wet. Just use a dry rag and um, just keep on going. Alrighty, these are ready to go into the refrigerator, or in my case, I'm going to put them in the freezer because it's so hot, the um, pellet stove is really doing its job today, and the recipe should make 24 uh, chocolate covered cherries, however, I had an issue with one and ended up the uh, cream dough started disintegrating and melting before I could get it on the cherry. So I ended up with 23. So I'm going to put these in the freezer and I'll bring you back for part two of or the next step on where we go from here. Okay, for the next step you want to take one regular size package of chocolate chips. They can be dark chocolate, semi-sweet. I like milk chocolate. Um, so whatever kind of chocolate you like Make them with white chocolate if you like. And I added one tablespoon of shortening. And just uh, set up a double boiler. And um, get this chocolate all melted. And I'll bring it back when we're ready to start dipping the cherries. Okay. The uh, chocolate is all melted. It's nice, smooth, glossy. Now I did end up having to add two extra teaspoons of shortening to get it this nice glossy consistency. Um, you'll just have to determine what, be what works best for you. So that's really very good. And I'm just going to try to keep it puddled as deep as possible. Now, you want to work with only like four or five cherries at a time because you don't want them to uh, start warming up and then the um, filling will start melting. So I'm just grabbing four of the cherries that have the cream filling. Just dip them in the chocolate. Shake off any excess. And I use two forks. One for dipping and one for smushing. Getting the uh, ball off the fork. And again, 
you need to work quickly, but you don't need to be frantic. So I have all of the first batch of the cherries uh, coated in the chocolate, and you may need to do a couple of them to, a couple of times. I noticed this one here, I didn't get completely covered with the chocolate. You have to have these completely covered because as that filling starts breaking down and melting, it will come pouring out. So if there's a gap in the chocolate, you're going to have a gooey mess all over your serving tray or whatever you have them in. So I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. I'm going to double dip that one that I missed, put them in the refrigerator to let them set. Once they've set, I'll evaluate which ones may need another um, dip in the chocolate. And I'll just keep it simmering on low so I don't have to go through that process again. But um, anyway, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Chocolate-covered cherries for my mom. I'm Beth. I'll catch you later.